What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs. Kicking things off in the Nerd Den once again. And today I've got a Walmart toy hunt for you. Prepare for launch. <laughs> All right, kicking things off in clearance. And we got some deals. Got Randy Orton for eight bucks. Got some Dungeons and Dragons down to 20. Both the cartoon and the movie. Got some Retro Return of the Jedi for 20 bucks. Not bad, but I got a feeling these are gonna go even cheaper. I do wanna pick up Leia and Han in their indoor gear. Got a some Motu, but pretty sure that's still full price. Yeah, I got Batman down there. Got the uh, gelatinous cube for 21. There's the scythe and sleeve one. Let's see, well that one's 25, that was 27. Picked up my sleeve one for 15. So I'm pretty sure that'll get cheaper. Uh, got some Star Trek. I've seen these as low as three dollars already. Uh, got a little Fortnite Super Soaker, five bucks. That's not bad at all. Uh, Black Panther, five bucks. Oh, there's Captain Kirk for five bucks. But that looks like that's it for clearance. Let's uh, go check out the regular toys. Oh, I did find another little clearance section. We got the uh, movie star screen down to 18. Got some designer transformer plushes for eight. There's Lola for 31. Uh, oh, got some superpowers. Got the Batwing and the Supermobile, 24. All right, let's keep going. And we got some advent calendars. There's Lego Friends and Marvel, Star Wars. Get out of the way here. <laughs> High traffic area. <laughs> here comes another one. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Marvel. It's a Minecraft Nerf. Got some of the new Lego combo packs. There's a city pack. Comes with a fun little add-in. Uh, farmer and a scarecrow. There's the Star Wars Hoth two pack. Walker and some snow troopers. Some uh, Jurassic World two packs. Pretty cool. Let's keep going. All right, checking out Lego now. Got the uh, Galaxy Explorer, quite a few of those hanging out. Bonsai, The Office, got the Batwing, uh, Batmobile, Bat Cycle. Uh, got some Dreams Poly bags. And Minecraft. This is kind of a small Lego section. So this won't take too long. Disney, more city, and got some Star Wars. And that is it for Lego. Let's go check out action figures now. All right, we've got a little end cap full of Star Wars over here. Have a couple of the clone commandos and tech. So yet another Walmart, the exclusives are showing up. Got some Lego, Micro Galaxy, Mission Fleet. There's the Mando Blaster. Love these little droids. I actually picked up a chopper for my wife. <laughs> yeah. Tilt their heads. Gonna make fun noises. So we got Chopper, BB-8, and R2. Love those. And we got Transformers over here, Cliff Jumper and Brawn. There's RC, Air Razor. There's Megatron. Oh, who we got down here? We have the Fallen down here. 
that's pretty cool. Uh, more Transformers. Got some Mutant Mayhem. A Stray Boba Fett. <laughs> some more turtles down here. Got the multi packs. And vehicles. We got the vintage movie turtles and storage shells. There's Genghis Frog, Wing Nut and Screwies. Uh, there's Jessica Drew. Oh, we got a Secret Invasion figure back here. So there's Nick Fury. That's cool. Knocked over a dinosaur. Not sure where he came from. <laughs> and a baby Groot. Oh, we got Tarantula. Yes, freaking goes up here. <laughs> and some more Legends. There's Captain Marvel. Ant-Man. Future Ant-Man. Oh, there's Photon. Nakia. Yeah, a decent amount of legends. Got some dinosaurs. And DC. Yeah, don't see any multiverse. Oh, we have the invisible jet. First time seeing that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, and here's the Batmobile over here. Very cool. Saw some new superpowers vehicle showing up. That is awesome. Doesn't look like any of the figures are new though. I've got the speeder bike with Grogu. Picked this up at Target a while back. Half price. It was already on clearance there. Uh micro galaxy. I got First Order TIE Fighter and Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. There's the AT AT. Uh, shuttle. There's Obi Wan's fighter. And some pod racers. And got Black Series. There's Luthen. Uh, there's Bix back there. And a few vintage collection. Got a little bit of wrestling. Oh, look, they have the vintage Destro. Haven't seen that in a while. He doesn't quite clog the pegs like Lady J does. Uh, more wrestlers. There's Gung Ho. And a little bit of Fortnite over here. And Mario, Luigi, not Luigi, that Sonic. Had Luigi on the brain, I guess. Here's Among Us. But I think that is going to do it for this section. Let's see what else we can find. All right, just find another aisle display. Got some uh, Disney stuff over here, but we also have Marvel Legends. There's Egghead, Miss Marvel, Crossfire, Ant-Man, Wasp. But we got the... Uh, New Hydra Stomper Wave. There's Agatha, uh, Gamora, Kingpin. So yeah, got a few new Marvel Legends hitting. Got the Mickey Light Bright. That's pretty fun. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, checking out Diecast now. Got the Hot Wheels section. Well, that's a really cool little gasser right there. Little boat, uh, rescue boat motorcycle some really cool looking hot wheels i really dig that golf always like the golf color scheme it's really cool oh, there's the red batmobile he's seen better days though uh, yeah more batmobiles it's kind of a gold batmobile that's weird it's like a old vintage style uh, got some multi-packs. 
got the X-Men. Magneto, Wolverine, Cyclops. There's Professor X. Ooh, got some 70th Matchbox. Number two of five, Mercedes. This is a cool Curtis. Thought that was a Studebaker at first, but that's a Curtis. <laughs> oh, quite a few Matchbox cars, actually. That's good to see. And we've got some monster trucks over here. It's a fun little train monster truck. And there's Donkey Kong. We've got the Racer Verse, some Ninja Turtles, Taz, uh, yeah, Only Live Twice, Toyota Roadster, some Fast and Furious, and some M2s and Johnny Lightnings. It's a cool M2 Corvette. All right, that's it for diecast. Let's uh, go hit collectibles real quick. All right, over in collectibles, checking out the pops. We got all the Guardians still hanging out. Fifteen bucks. <laughs> uh, over at the regular pops, not much going on. We do have. Max Rebo, which I think is really cool. He's very tempting. <laughs> kind of a goofy character, but I dig it. Speaking of uh, goofy Star Wars characters, there's Babu Frick. Oh, there's Trapjaw, that's cool. Uh, got some golds and some pop pins. And we got a uh, Zuko and Aang. From Loyal Subjects. There's Sam and Twitch. King Spider. Got some little plushes. And we got Splinter and Shredder down there. Night Wolf. There's Angus. Ghostface. Got the Mummy. And the T-1000 from Terminator 2. <laughs> and Ash and Freddy Krueger, Toonie Terrors, and Renette. We'll round the corner real quick. We've got a Jack Skellington handmade by robots. That's pretty fun. And some more older pops. And I think that is going to do it. Let's go wrap things up. And that is it for this Walmart toy hunt. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, saw quite a bit in there today. A lot of clearance deals. Uh, those are Return of the Jedi figures for 20 bucks. Good to see those going on clearance finally. Uh, still think I'll hold out $20. That's not a great deal just yet. I uh, did have some uh, clearance deals on some superpowers. Although I'm not sure how much of a deal that was. I'm pretty sure that was still full price. Uh, did see some uh, Transformers on clearance. A uh, little bit of Masters of the Universe. Once again, I think those were full price as well. <laughs> so kind of keep an eye on that stuff. Uh, but seeing some more stuff hit clearance. So that's always good. Uh, did see some of the new uh, Lego multi-packs. Uh, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, uh, some Lego City. That was cool to see. Uh, over in action figures, lots of Transformers, uh, did see some more of the Walmart exclusive Black Series figures, so that's very encouraging. Uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, saw a few things there, some of the vintage stuff, uh, nothing I was after just yet. Uh, then over in DC, did see the Batmobile and the Invisible Jet, that was my first time seeing those, so that was cool. Uh... I'll be honest, Superpowers, I was very into it when it first started. Things are kind of cooling off for me on that front. Uh, basically, things are getting really expensive, <laughs> and uh, 
might have to start eliminating some stuff and I've got a feeling superpowers might be a line that's going to have to go. So I don't know. I'll keep an eye out. Might just wait it out. I've got a feeling those are going to wind up on clearance eventually anyway, because uh, the superpowers kind of warming the pegs these days. But uh, moving on, uh, Star Wars, uh, did see those clearance things as I mentioned. Nothing really new going on in the regular section. Still looking for some of that Ahsoka wave. I really want Chopper and Sabine. So still looking out for those. Uh, wrestling looked pretty good. DC did see some uh, retro uh, Destros. So that was good to see those. Hadn't seen that on the peg in a while. Of course, they had plenty of Gung Ho's and Lady J's as well. Uh, saw some pretty cool stuff over in Diecast. Uh, Hot Wheels was looking good. Uh, quite a few Marvel Legends did see the uh, new uh, Hydra Stomper comic book build a figure wave. So they had Agatha and Kingpin. So that was good to see. Did have some uh, other uh, Marvel Legends like the Marvels. I had Photon and Captain Marvel. I think we saw Miss Marvel as well. So yeah, Marvel Legends looking really good. Uh, over in collectibles, not a whole lot going on. Do like that Max Rebo pop that I saw, but I've seen that for a while now. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm empty handed. Uh, didn't pick up anything at Walmart, but I did go to Target after that, and I did pick up a couple things at Target. But if you want to see what those are, you got to stick around for this bonus hunt. But first, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into this bonus hunt. All right, doing a little bonus coverage and target real quick. Uh, got the classic colors, Casey Jones. Got the Tuscan Warrior Massive. Some cool DC Multiverse. Got the uh, first appearance of Superman, Abyss and uh, Green Lantern, Alan Scott. But I did find some deals. Did uh, find a Return of the Jedi Han Solo. It's on sale for $17.49. And you may recall I picked this up for $22 a couple weeks ago. It's now down to $13. So I'm going to pick up another one. So I have the uh, Mandalorian Speeder Bike Scout Trooper Duo. But yeah, let's uh, see if there's any other quick deals that I can find while we're in here. All right, did find the new slush head figure from the Masterverse. That's pretty cool. And there's Skeletor from the New Adventures of He-Man. A little bit of wrestling. There's a Buzzsaw Hordak and Pinkhead. Got the Map Room Indiana Jones. It appears all the Indiana Jones figures have gone back up to full price. So I don't know if that clearance they did earlier was a mistake or what, but they're back up to full price. Uh, got some Ninja Turtles, but nothing we didn't already see. Got some cells going on. Dinosaurs. Alright, let's uh, see what else we can find. And we're over in Marvel Legends. Got the X-Men. There's Gambit and Bishop. And it looks like all the X-Men they have. We have Kingpin and Agatha. So uh, I guess uh, still waiting for some more legends to show up. Uh, we got Luke and Grogu hanging out over here. There's Dusty. Up oh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, 17.49. So it uh, looks like even the new ones are on sale. A little bit of Transformers. And quick sweep of die cast. Not really seeing anything out of the ordinary or super new. All right, I think that's going to do it for this quick little target hunt. I'll see you guys next time around.